You've heard of single malt whiskey, but what about a single grain scotch? It's time for Weekend Sip. Charles Passy has booze, and I have a massive thirst. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, um, thank you for being here. Um, this is called Hay Club. Right. And um, it, malt, malt is malted barley. Right. And that's usually what you get scotch out of. Right. And this is single grain, which means, in this case, it's a wheat grain. Um, so it is, it really is, even though this is under the category of scotch, because it comes from Scotland, it really has nothing to do with how we think of whiskey. Um, we're used to either single malt or blends, which tend to combine single malt and grain whiskey. And, and let's give some examples of that. John, John, Johnny Walker is Johnny the Walker classic, is a uh, you know, doers is doers. Fa famous grouse, right. and they have a right. little bit of malt and a little bit of uh, right. grain in them. This is just the grain. and. You you know, really, you know, some purists would probably say, well, the grain, it doesn't stand alone because it's really not meant to. It's really supposed to be what goes into the blend to soften it a little bit, to, to give it a little more fullness, I would say. Um, but when you try it standalone, well, do you want to try it? Well, let, let's try it. Um, well, actually, I should confess, while you're trying it, I've actually done some extensive research on this because I was very kindly given the bottle of this by one of my colleagues. Right. And um, it's, it's all gone now, so I'm glad to get it again. Um, so you describe it while I have another taste. Well, I mean, what you have here is a much lighter, um, uh, much more on the on the tongue immediately sort of pleasing whiskey. I mean, it's it's very simple to approach, very easy to approach. Um, on and the, it's not fiery. I think if you try a bottle of, um, say, Johnny Walker Red, it, it, it's... Well, Johnny Walker Red, red especially... It's a little has, bit fiery. Right. This is not. Right. Um, but what I would say is it doesn't have maybe the depth or the richness that you expect with a great scotch. Um, There's no smokiness, which right. is, well, there's certainly no, a no No smokiness, and really not a heavy mouth feel either. Um, uh, they, the people behind it, and that does include, by the way, soccer star David Beckham is one of the people behind this, um, say it's almost like a gateway whiskey, a beginner's whiskey for people who might have a like little... Like a gateway drug. Yeah. The, the idea that this might pull you in <laughs> to get some Lafroig or some Talisker or something that's something a, bit a little, a little, quiet a little, a little heavier. Um, although some people can enjoy it on their own, I think I'd rather stick with my single malts and my blends. Uh, but for some people, this might be a milder way to enjoy Enjoy uh, scotch. Well, I got to tell you, it was uh, very nice to sip over Christmas. Okay. Thank you very much, Charles. Cheers. Assey, have a great weekend.